Greetings fellow exiles, it's Epic Show here bringing you another video and today we're going to be looking at the agility stat in depth. The reason for this is twofold. First off, there's a lot of misinformation going around as to what this stat does and doesn't do. In fact, two different YouTube comments have made claims about agility. Lawrence Rouse here says, I think you might want to take another look at agility. I'm seeing a lot of players running around naked or in light armor with high agility wrecking players in armor. He goes on to politely invite me to his server where he will kill me with a sword and dagger. I don't doubt your skills, Lawrence, really, but I do doubt your analysis of agility. Then I had Logan Scott here. Actual, you need agility. If your agility isn't up, heavy armor drains your stamina like a mosquito. Well guys, I thank you both for your comments, and this actually caused me to go back in and do more testing to really look. Is my analysis right? Do these guys know what they're talking about? I don't know, so let's find out. Alright, so what I've done here is I've set up a little straightaway, if you will, that we can actually test the effects of agility. Uh, so first, we're going to start naked. I'm going to use a base grit of 20 for all tests. And right now you can see I have zero agility. So let's go ahead and start off on a dead sprint. We'll also go ahead and put a timer on that. And when we get across the field to where we're going, we'll mark where we landed. And we'll come back and we'll do the same test with full agility. So let's see, right up in here, I had actually ran it just before. And you can see that right at the same mark, uh, I was exhausted. Uh, that's two tests now at zero agility all right let's go ahead and run back real quick okay now we're back let's go ahead and access our stat panel here and then we'll go ahead and up that agility way up bringing it all the way up to max here I think we can get about 50 55 okay 55 great and we're going to go ahead and run the same course now if what these guys are saying is right this agility is only going to affect people with armor on don't worry i'm going to do that but we had to first make a control test and that's why i had to do this naked first to see if agility had any tangible effect on really anything and you can see that bam we get to the exact same spot and we are exhausted once again so we can conclude at least for now that there is no effect on agility on your stamina drain while you're naked. Now that we're back, we're going to do a little bit more testing. We're going to test how much stamina weapons, jumps, and whatnot use. So we can see that it takes five stamina for a single hand sword swing. For a pike, we're looking at five as well. For a power attack on the pike, we have 30. For a power attack on the sword, we have 20. Looks like for a dodge, we have the expected 20. And for a jump, it cost us, what was that, 8? Now we're going to go ahead and repeat the same test with zero agility on this same character. Make sure to use that same 20 grit that we've been using so all of our tests remain the same. And we're back here again, we can see that now the one hand sword uses 5 stamina. The pike again using 5 stamina. Power attack using 30. Sword power attack using 20. And then of course our jump 8. And our dodge 20 again. Excellent. So we can now conclude that there is no effect of agility whatsoever on the stamina drain of actions or sprinting or speed on a naked character. Now let's see how this changes when we put on some heavy armor. So we've just put on some Silent Legion armor, which is the heaviest in the game. And we're also going to look at our stats. We have our 20 crit. We have zero agility. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same test again. 
So let's go ahead and run out on this field. You can see the stamina does drain faster because it's a heavy armor. But again, we're going to be comparing between the agilities. We're not really worried about that stamina drain. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make a little fence right where we stopped. So we'll be able to see it next time. All right, let's go ahead and run back. Okay, now that we're back again, let's go ahead and change our stats. We'll up our agility all the way. And if our YouTube commenters are right, that means that we are going to have much more stamina and we're going to be able to run a lot farther with this agility. So let's go ahead and see. And we're off. Notice I'm not jumping or making any kind of actions. We're keeping these tests exactly the same. And we have run out of stamina right on our mark, guys. Directly on our mark. So, Logan and uh, Lawrence, I'm going to have to say you guys are mistaken. But we do still need to try out the other actions. Maybe you guys are right about sword swings or jumping or dodging. So let's go ahead and look at that. All right, so we're back on our little platform here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up our stats, make sure we have our 20 grit, and we'll go ahead and knock ourselves back down to zero agility. And we're gonna do the same exact tests. So we're gonna look at the one hand sword that cost us seven. What about the pike? is going to cost us seven as well a pike power attack costs 45 and the one hand sword power attack costing us 30 all right let's see about the jump that cost us 12 and let's see our dodge cost us 30 so let's go ahead and take those numbers now and we'll go ahead and reset our stats and then we'll get our agility up to where it needs to be. Much, much, much higher. We're going to redo the same test. Again, we are expecting to see reduced stamina costs if agility actually has an effect on armor. One hand sword costs seven, same as before. The pike also costing seven, the same as before. Power attack, 45 as again, same thing. Sword. 30 for the power attack again same thing our jump still costing 12 stamina and our dodge last but not least still costing 30 stamina well there you have it folks um absolutely zero difference in stamina costs for high ranges of agility and heavy armor and naked this does beg the question that these guys must have been seeing agility powerful in some way shape and form so I want to tell you why that is. Now, if you had seen my video on the weapons in the Conan expansion, you would see that there is a very high diminishing return on armor. And that means that the first 20 to 30 armor that you get have a massive effect uh, in comparison to the rest of the armor that you get. So yeah, these guys running around with 20 armor are essentially getting, you know, a good base damage um, reduction because of that. Uh, but at the end of the day, the claims that you guys made about heavy armor lasting longer and stamina drain being different are obviously, as you can see, completely unfounded. Um, agility has no other use except for giving you extra armor and only maybe that first 20 armor, 20 to 30 armor matters very much. So I would still say that agility is pretty useless. It's maybe worth five points, maybe worth six or seven if you have just a couple of extras lying around. But otherwise, I would not waste my time or points in agility. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to just prove a point a little bit, but also, you know, figure this stuff out because it needs to be figured out. Anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys soon.